Hello everyone, you are watching the Magnum Channel Offline and today we're going to be doing a welding review. So the welder we're discussing today is the Amico Power DC160. So this is a DC only 160 amp inverter welder. It is dual voltage and it's rated for 160 amps as the name implies. Now I found this on Amazon for about $160 so it's about a dollar an amp and so far I think it's a great deal. Now if you move over to the side right there you can see the clamp. I'll we'll give you a close up here. There's the clamp and the electrode holder that come with the unit. You get 10 foot leads. So here is your electrode holder right here. Now I think this is, it says on the side here it's rated for 500 amps. It is copper coated steel is my understanding. But so far it's held up. I've put, burned quite a few rods with this so far and it seems to be doing just fine. So we'll burn a few today and you can see it in action. Here is the ground clamp that comes with it. And then we do have some webbing. There we go. Have some webbing in the back so you can see that. So it does seem like a good sturdy proper ground clamp. Now the DC160 itself is a pretty simple machine. So basically what you see is what you get. So you can see down there is where you plug in your welding leads, your electrode, and your clamp to reverse the polarity. So to go from straight polarity DC EN or reverse polarity DC EP, either one, you're just going to have to reverse those leads and that's going to produce what, you, what you're looking for. Um, let me fire it up here and you can see it in action. See it turn on there, spinning up. It's a fairly quiet machine, it does, does make a little bit of fan noise. You can see right there it's set currently to 121 amps. It has a continuously variable, continuously variable amperage control and it'll go all the way down to 21 and all the way up to 161. Now the DC160 does come standard with a 230 volt plug-in but because it is a dual voltage machine they also send this nice little pigtail that will convert it for you to a standard household voltage. So plug that in like this. Now we can plug this in anywhere and we'll show you that in just a second. So you can see we're plugged in right here. This is a 12 gauge 25 foot extension cord it has a built in, it's triple tapped and you can see I've got this machine plugged in right here along with my grinder and a shop fan. Over here on the bench you can see all the different electrodes I've run through it and we'll run some of those today but I got some Hobart 16th inch 6011's some Vulcan 6011's 6013's, some Hobart 7014's and some Vulcan 7018's. Now the DC 160 because it is rated for 160 amps will weld up to 530 seconds inch electrodes. I don't happen to have any of those today, but um, it will, so far I have welded up to 135 amps on the standard household outlet. I don't have access to 230 volt power out here in the barn, so I am running off a 20 amp breaker and it's run just great off of that so far. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some of the electrodes that I've run so far and how they weld. Please do keep in mind that I am not a full-time welder and I've never been to welding school, so if you see slag inclusions or something like that, I realize that, but I'm not a professional welder, so bear that in mind.
Okay, so now you can see we're going to get this T-joint all tacked up here. I did go ahead and take off the mill scale. So we're getting it all tacked up. And we're ready to weld up with some 6011. So I'm going to start out with this 6011. This one is Hobart 16th inch. Um, in a second here, we're also going to try the Vulcan 332nd inch. And what you'll notice is I have a little bit of trouble keeping these rods lit. And... Um, I am fairly new to these particular rods, but um, I I did do some other projects here with them recently. Um, there was one project I've been working on, a hay ring project, and they welded up just fine. Like any 6011, they'll do a good job of getting through rust and paint and galvanized metal. So, all right, up next we're gonna try these Vulcan 6011s. These are a little heavier duty. They ran very similarly to the Hobarts. And like I said, they're not maybe the prettiest welds in the world, but um, you can certainly make sound welds, which is kind of the point of a uh, arc welder. So that's the goal, and I think that's um, accomplishable with these rods. So now we're going to move on to some 6013. This is some Vulcan 332nds. And uh, these have welded really great for me. Um, these have been really easy to strike and keep lit. And um, they'll even tolerate a little bit of long arcing. Of course, the downside with any 6013 is it is a light penetrating rod. So um, don't expect to weld through a lot of slag or paint or anything like that. But um, these have done very well with this little Amico power machine, and they've uh, all turned out, even if I can't make them very aesthetic, they've all turned out to be pretty aesthetic welds. So I've been pretty happy with the way it runs 6011. So now we're trying these Hobart uh, 7014s. And uh, I got these at Tractor Supply. These are some 8th inch Hobart 7014s. And... Uh, I have found these to be very forgiving rods and you're going to see I have to relight it here once and I don't know what happened. I think I just long arced it a little bit but um, I have not had any trouble running these rods whatsoever. These have been really really great rods and um, they welded super smoothly, super easily. They produced beautiful looking welds and the slag was not too bad either. Uh, overall, I've uh, been impressed with the performance of the machine so far. Okay, so now we're going to light up with some 7018 here. I uh, forgot to show the box, but these are 8th inch Vulcan 7018s. And um, these have run really well for me. I've not had any problems with them. I'm running them on about 125 amps DCEP. And. Uh, May have been going just a tad bit slow here. I got a little bit gloppy at the end, but uh, they've run well overall, and um, I've been really impressed with this little machine. So that's about it for today, guys. So I uh, appreciate you watching this video. I hope that this review helped you, and um, we'll see you later.